it doesn't seem like a big deal until you look back at all the stuff I went through with, you know, being the auto-tune guy and criticized for not being able to sing. Suck it, guys. Okay? What's the deal, old people? It's your boy T-Pain. Esquire has asked me to show you some of my favorite things and explain the story behind it. Uh, yeah, let's do that, I guess. And here we go. Outside. Explains the shades. Very sunny out here today. This is my first Mustang. I've uh, never really been into Mustangs until I started riding with Von Gittin Jr. I'm a drifter. I drift this thing as much as I can. It's still pretty clean. Uh, they were able to make it a street car and a drift car at the same time. And I'm very proud of it. Ladies and gentlemen, the RTR Mustang GT500. Thank you, Von. Next up, 2020. Jeep Gladiator Mojave. The Jeep, I drive this joint everywhere. It's my new favorite car. Everybody asks me what's my favorite car. I always say the Jeep Gladiator Mojave because I don't know if you guys know this. Uh, if you live in Atlanta, you know, but Atlanta, something, I think somebody's going around straight up up Atlanta streets. Like they're just doing it on purpose. But anyways, you can roll over that shit with this thing. And anytime I need to go somewhere for like a shoot or an uh, interview or anytime I need to go downtown or take my wife out to eat or anything like that, Jeep Gladiator Mojave. Ladies and gentlemen, coming into the 72 Chevrolet Impala. Um, one of my favorite cars. This car took us two years to finish. Everything inside the car is ran by an iPad. If you guys remember, in the song Boss by Rick Ross, I said in the hood, I got a Chevy with a 454 in the hood. That's this guy. Yeah, it's all uh, Joker themed. We call it the Joker Dunk. Uh, it's got a lot so serious on the back. We, we, we literally made this a masterpiece. It's one best in show. There's a lot of dub car shows, and uh, we plan on to win a lot more. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to the Catch 22. Guys, this one is probably the most famous mini truck of like all time. I, I came into possession of it uh, from a dear friend. His uh, father unfortunately passed away and when he saw his collection of cars and they got to this one, they, he was like, uh, yeah, I'm gonna call T-Pain. He's the only person that's gonna want this. And this is, oh my God, it's a masterpiece. Probably one of the, the most recognizable trucks of all time. Uh, you know, this car was built a very long time ago, probably 2004. Uh, you know, uh, man, before I was able to afford it. And I've been watching this truck ever since. Uh, it's been at many car shows, it's won many awards. It's done many appearances everywhere in the world. And here it is in my garage. Ladies and gentlemen, another one of my prized possessions is the Bell Cord. It's a Honda Accord, built like a Bel Air. Single piece body, all molded specifically, you know, for me, cause I don't know, I just like stuff up. That, this is not how this is supposed to look. But yeah, we got the, uh, the Honda Accord, uh, fully bagged, body drop, all the way to the ground. This thing hits the ground pretty cool. Uh, everything in this car is controlled by a Nintendo controller. So, make your own assumptions out of that. <laughs> <laughs> we are located in the Nappy Boy Mansion, Nappy Boy Studios, aka the Chevy Shack. This is where, uh, this is where all the magic happens. Besides, you know, my bedroom out there. My Grammys! One for good life, one for blame it. These were acquired by myself and my fellow colleagues, Kanye West and Jamie Foxx. There's not much of a story behind these besides just making great music and being a part of, uh, you know, a, a, a team of people that actually care about what we're doing. You know, we make gourmet music. You know, it's, it's, it's either you order McDonald's or you order the souffle. You know, we, we have successfully made the souffle and this is an award for it. And I got six of these. So, it's the Mass Singer Award. I went head to head against 12 other singers. Came out on top. It doesn't seem like a big deal until you look back at all the stuff I went through with, you know, being the auto-tune guy and being uh, criticized for not being able to sing, even though nobody had ever heard me sing. This feels great to have. And just seeing 
the look on people's faces when I took that goddamn costume off. Oh my god. Just suck it, guys. This is a Diamond Award. You know what that means? That means one of my songs has sold over 10 million copies. There's only 45 other people on that list that has done that. So, uh, welcome Cardi B. She just recently made the list. Good job. And uh, again, suck it. Everybody else? Guys, thanks for checking out my collection. Uh, I hope you guys check out more videos like this on Esquire, but mostly just look at mine. Just watch mine over and over again. Nobody, don't, don't look at anybody else. Just go to Esquire, subscribe, and then just watch mine.